several people that are new to gardening have asked me like what what are the plants they can plant this time of year so it's the end of July now getting ready to roll into August and I kind of made out a list um, so this isn't really a how to plant these but more a what you can plant and the easiest way to figure out what you can plant later in the year in your garden is to use this tip go to the USDA website and look up your growing zone for instance I'm in zone 6b that tells me that my expected first frost date is sometime in October so if you count back back from that first frost date to say August 1st that gives you a specific number of days now once you know how many days you have until the next frost now you know pretty much what vegetables you can grow um, by looking at the back of your seed packets and then looking at the days to harvest and I kind of made out a list and an approximate days of harvest these are generally not always what I plant every time but some plants that I know that I can plant later in the year toward the end of July first part of August so the plants include cucumbers such as space master national pickling straight eight all require less than 60 days to harvest beans such as blue lake provider tender green all less than 60 days to harvest peas most varieties of peas are in the 50 to 60 days and they can also be planted later in the year early cabbages an early cabbage is generally considered anything with less than 100 growing days but I've had success with early golden acres which is 60 days and round dutch which is 70 days bok choy grows really fast you can use it in stir fries and other um, oriental type meals but they're also really good to eat fresh out of the garden just pick them and eat them uh, they don't take very long to grow basil and chard uh, if you're into herbs can be grown this time of year broccoli there's one type of broccoli that I've grown that only takes 48 days to harvest I believe it's called the Seco DE space C I C C O if I have messed up that variety I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments early cauliflower like early snowball which is only 55 days can be planted this time of year some early corns like early sun glow hybrid only take 63 days dill herb mammoth is 50 days kale red russian is 50 days dwarf blue is 60 days lettuce most loose leaf lettuce is about 50 days some head lettuce is in the 60 to 70 days pretty much any lettuce that falls within the number of days you have till your first frost can be grown this time of year evergreen bunching onions generally take about 60 days that's another good thing to plant later in the year um, radishes most radishes are under 30 days to harvest they can be planted this time of year spinach most spinach spinach is in the 30 to 45 days can be planted this time of year zucchini squash takes about 50 days it can be planted this time of year and some varieties of beets can also be planted this time of year so even though that you've been busy with your garden up to this point you're really not done yet because there are other things you can grow to continue to take up that space where some vegetables are starting to die off for instance if you planted beans early in the year they're probably starting to turn a little brown or yellowish and they've probably flowered two or three times and given you some beans but if you don't have enough beans you can plant more peas so i usually don't plant plant peas until later in the year mostly because I have other vegetables I consider my primary vegetables that are more important that I plant in the first planting um, some things like broccoli bugs will totally destroy if you plant them in the spring and some cabbages and some lettuces so sometimes those are better to plant later in the year also so hopefully this will give you some ideas of things you can plant later in the year just because it's hot in summertime doesn't mean gardening season's over yet. You still have plenty of life left. Make available use of any space that you have. Try to plant some of these vegetables I mentioned or herbs and uh, make the best of it because we don't really know if there's going to be a food shortage next year. 
you know, as as the conspiracy theorists say. So uh, it always helps to be prepared. Now I have planned, and I haven't recorded it yet, to show you how to both ferment and how to can vegetables. Very simple to do. It's an easy way to prolong the life of the vegetables. Also, freezing is another option if you have a deep freezer. So grow as many vegetables as you can because you don't know what next year holds. Thanks for watching. If you're into this kind of stuff, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos. Thanks.